Hello everybody and welcome to the brewery tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to brew in a cauldron, distill and how to age in a barrel. The first thing we need to do to start brewing is make a brewing cauldron. You simply do this by placing any heat sauce under a cauldron. In this tutorial I'll be using a campfire because it's one of the easiest items to obtain. Simply place your campfire and your cauldron on top and fill it with water. You can use any heat sauce you want to brew with. Here are a few examples of what you can use. My favourite is the campfire because of the cool effect that it has. So in this tutorial we will be making the golden rum drink. To make this we require 14 sugar cane to be fermented for 5 minutes. To do this, we simply get 14 sugar cane and a clock. We then go to the brewing cauldron we made earlier and right click all our ingredients into it. Once we have placed all our ingredients in it, we can then check the brew time by right clicking with our clock. So if you're wondering how to get a list of brewable drinks, more servers should have some sort of guide booking game with the drinks you can make. I'll also include a link in the description with the basic drinks that most servers should have. Okay, so we've brewed the sugar cane for 5 minutes. We now need to get 3 glass bottles to obtain our brew. So now that we have the 3 glass bottles, we just simply right click the cauldron. So we've now got sugar brew, so let, let's see what's next. Okay, we need to distill our drinks. Right. Okay, to do this, we need to get a normal Minecraft vanilla brewing stand. As well as a brewing stand, we need one glowstone and one blaze powder. So, to distill our drinks, we simply place the brewing stand down, add our glowstone, add our blaze powder, and then add all of our drinks that we just brewed and we need to distill this twice. Okay, so we've now distilled it once, as you can see. Finally, we've distilled it twice. So we've now fermented it and distilled it. So now we just need to age it. To age the drink you need a barrel, you can use any vanilla barrel, but you can only age up to 6 drinks at once in it. So to be able to age more than 6 you can create a barrel. To create a barrel you need to place 4 upside down stairs, 2 on each side, and then 2 stairs on top of them. You then stick a sign on the bottom right and write the word barrel on it. You can now place your drinks inside the barrels and begin aging. Now one year takes 20 minutes. So some of the drinks may take a long time. For example, the one I am aging now takes 14 years. We'll now move on to the effects of drinking. So the more you drink, the more drunk you get. One of the big things is you chat. When, when you're drunk and you try to speak in chat, it will add and change your chat. So we'll try to type something in chat now. And as you can see, it, it just messes all of your chat up. So that's just the beginning. The more drunk you get, the, the more things that happen. If you get even more drunk, your camera starts going all dizzy, your player starts moving uncontrollably, you start being sick, just loads of things happen. Also, sometimes when you log out and you rejoin after drinking, you'll sometimes spawn in random places, so 
if you was playing with your friends and you was drinking and throwing up everywhere and then you logged off, when you come back online you may be in a completely random place. So that pretty much sums up the brewery plugin. Um, if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.